Bonjour de Paris. Passons une journée créative. J'écris dans mon journal, je médite. Commençons la journée ensemble. Welcome to Paris, le Paris. I'm so happy to be back. This is actually quite exciting for people who have been following me for a little while on YouTube because I had my first ever viral video on YouTube whilst living in Paris, I think two years ago. I moved to Paris two years ago when I felt very, very low. Yeah, I was struggling mentally quite a bit and I was like opening up about it on YouTube which was so scary and I can't believe I did that. I still feel a little bit uncomfortable that this information is online and I feel like I've gotten a little bit more private over the years, over time. But I also really appreciate it and I think especially for me when I felt bad I was like looking online for people to relate to because it is such a weird state to be in and that it's nice to know that you're not alone and that other people are going through similar things so I feel like yeah I'm happy that it's still online and that it actually got the crazy amount of views that it did I'm so happy to be back and it's it's crazy. I arrived last morning, so I've been here a good 24 hours and staying at La Pigalle, which is a beautiful hotel in Pigalle. One of the most beautiful, homely, cozy and aesthetically pleasing ones I've ever been to. There's so much love going into decorating the place. The energy here is on point. I, I stepped into the hotel and I felt like I was stepping into a living room. Everyone was so chill and then the people working here are so inviting and so nice and yeah, they actually invited me here um, to do an artist residency for a very, very short amount of time. Everyone's very open and it's quite international as well, which is good for people like me who speak very bad French. And in France, that's not normal. Like a lot of people don't actually love to speak English. so. Um, it can be quite challenging sometimes when you don't know a word of French and then you're like in a local store and you're like, uh, oh, help me please. But I feel like it has improved over the last years. The first time that I ever went to Paris was actually when I was 16. So about 20 years ago. Uh, oh my God, about 10 years ago, I'm not 36 yet. And back then I remember people would actually think it's quite rude that you're not speaking English and then they would react a bit bitchy. And to be honest, my first ever um, Paris experience wasn't great, but I've grown to love it and now I feel so happy. And yesterday I was just walking around when I arrived and just simply walking on the street is like the most inspiring thing to me here. So I'm honestly like, I'm loving this and I'm not, staying that long um here this time only a couple of days and i'm already kind of sad about it because the city is just so beautiful living here though long term is just so expensive that i think i wouldn't be able to uh afford it um, at least with the living standards that i have in germany right now coming to the point of the video so today i'm going to create an artwork for le pigal with you which is very exciting for me because like knowing that you're painting for someone is definitely a different approach. I want them to like it and I really hope they will. So whilst I was walking through the streets yesterday, I came up with an idea for the painting very quickly. Something that I noticed here in Paris and probably what helped me back then two years ago with my mental health a lot as well was the fact that people romanticize the fuck out of their lives this city is not called the city of love just randomly it is so true that you just walk across the city and yesterday was pretty like overcast day so not the prettiest weather but every corner you can find beauty every corner you can find art you can find passion you can find love if you just open your eyes to it and it's not necessarily about love in a romantic setting or with a partner it's about loving life loving yourself loving the moment living the moment and 
that is something that I'm definitely struggling with. Um, I, I really am scared to be alone a lot and um, I need people around me to feel good and I need inspiration. I need the hustle and bustle and I love it and I thrive in it. But I also really appreciate when someone just takes time for themselves and sits at the sun and reads their book. I also see a lot of people sitting in cafes alone, sipping their espresso, eating a croissant and smoking a cigarette. People are just good on their own, having dates with themselves, which I love. And I do that from time to time myself as well, but I feel like I could do that more. And it's just another reminder that you can be so good on your own and you can love life and treat yourself and enjoy. Also style-wise, Paris inspires me so much. People are just very well dressed here. There's a sort of chicness, but not forced. It's like casual chic. Like they don't really put an effort. They're like, ah, oh, I just threw this on, but I look fine as hell. <laughs> and I wish I could just take photos of all of these outfits, but I'm too scared to, and I feel awkward and I don't wanna invade people's privacy, but I'm like making photos with my eyes and my brain scanning all of these looks there's just really like such an effortless fashionable vibe going on here that i love and of course there is a massive art scene here as well i am definitely going to visit all of the big museums while i'm here um because i feel like you can go again and again and again and there is different exhibitions but even watching the same painting on different days can feel different and I really, really enjoy that. So that's definitely on my list to be inspired by what's going on in the art scene here currently. But I feel like you don't even have to go to museums to experience the art in Paris. Uh, simply walking on the street, simply sitting down somewhere for 10 minutes and consciously looking at things, you can see so much art. I've said this before, but for me, art is everywhere. It's, it's art is not about a subject, art is about how you view that subject and it's more a mental state to see things as art or see yourself as art as well and I over the years have been trying to see myself as my biggest muse and see myself as an artwork, um, appreciate myself as an artwork, value myself as an artwork and criticize myself as a piece of art rather than a human or a woman striving to feed a certain beauty standard or certain expectations because when you look at yourself as art then there is like little differences the unique aspects of yourself that actually are the most beautiful thing about you the little uh, pimple the little creases the little rednesses you learn to love and admire those things about you rather than wishing them away and then I also try to incorporate exactly that thought of celebrating time on your own and being completely fine with it and loving life and seeing life as this big poem that it is there is something about the city that makes me romanticize life so much more and whilst I was painting, I noticed that this actually is quite a personal piece. Just because the last time I was here, I was feeling really, really horrible. And I was in therapy and I was really struggling. I don't only really look very different, but I feel very different. I'm not saying that I'm always perfect every single day. I do have my struggles and I've actually, yeah, I've been struggling. I've been feeling lost, but it's a different way. It's not a depressed way where I'm like, I don't know how to get up in the morning and how to go on with life and I feel like hopeless but it's rather a transitional period that I can to some extent celebrate as well. I used colors that I found on my walks around the city and that inspired me and made me feel this exciting mood that I'm in. And material-wise, I did a mix of gouache, watercolors, and pencil. 
so let me show you the finished result. Et voila. <laughs> what do you think? I will try to film the reaction of the people from the vegan who invited me. Oh, yeah. Hope you like it. Oh, it's amazing. I love wow. the Wow, the colors are so us. Oh my gosh. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, baby. You got the girls. Does she have a name? The feminine power. We'll see. They have a name. <laughs> have you can you can name her if you want. In a few days I'm going to be moving to a different location here um, in Paris and I hope that I can maybe film a video there as well because the location is going to be pretty fantastic I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my art and you want to support me in my journey as an artist then feel free to check out the links below in the description box. You will find a link to my Instagram, my main one in my art Instagram, my website and um, on my website you can also find my email where you can message me with any questions you may have if you want to buy prints if you want to buy originals if you want to know which pieces are available I'm always here to support you and I'm very excited every time that I get an email with an art request because those are my favorite emails and you will certainly get a very quick answer from me um, so yeah and if you by any chance are a gallerist in Paris and you want to do an exhibition with me don't hesitate to contact me please <sighs> thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day bonne journée bisous et au revoir mes amis